Nowadays, rendering fractals is just a matter of crunching some equations on a computer to render some really pretty environments or trippy art. I mean sure, there's natural fractals too, but when it comes to actually creating your own detailed, mathematically pure fractals, you need some kind of computer to generate them. Right? Well, what if I told you that not only is it possible, but these kinds of fractals could have been made with 1930s technology and be interactive real time. But how is that possible? Let me start with the basics. If you've ever tried to screen record or live stream something, I'm sure you've at some point had the preview window inside the recording area, and you get this recursive screen effect. To be clear, this is not a fractal. Yet. But let's say we drag in another preview window. Now we can start seeing some fractal-like effects, and bringing in more windows with different transformations could create even cooler effects. But no one was live streaming in the 1930s, right? Actually, they were, and it was called television. There were cameras, there were screens, and most importantly, there were CRT projectors. And together, they could have been used to create some really intricate fractals. Though to my knowledge, this never actually happened until the computer age, nearly 40 years later. Anyway, the way this setup would work is really simple. In a large theater, have two or more projectors projecting onto the screen with different positions and orientations. Then have a camera record the entire screen and feed it into all the projectors. I really wanted to try this myself, but I don't own any projectors, let alone two or three of them. So I did the next best thing. Make the projectors virtual on my monitor and use a webcam as the camera. This works amazingly well, and it's really cool to see real time. I made this whole demo into an actual website, so you don't need to download anything if you want to try it out, just follow the link in the description. You will need an external webcam obviously, and you'll also have to fine tune your camera settings and put everything into manual, otherwise you can get some strobing feedback loops. Again, it's all analog, there's no real computations happening. Any system that can stream video can theoretically render fractals like this. And if there's anyone who collects really early television equipment, this would be so cool to see on the original hardware. But even with just the webcam, there's something so fun and charming about physically manipulating fractals with your hands. And before I sign off, in my last video, a lot of people mentioned that they would prefer to use Patreon, even if I don't have reward tiers. Well, I finally set that up. So please give these fractals a try if you can, I'd love to see what you all can make. Thank you for all the support, and thanks so much for watching. Music